Hi everybody, this is Christina with Blue Jeans Crafts and today I'm doing a video on my Heidi Swap memory planner. Um, I usually have like a Filofax or a Franklin Covey or one of those other regular planner um, that I use to organize, but since I'm such a creative person, um, personality, I opted to go ahead and try um, this style. Um, I don't carry my planner around with me in my purse that much anyway, so I thought that this would be a great option for me since I like to scrapbook and um, be a little bit more creative with my um, organizing. And um, I do use this for my daily organization, but I... Um, I'm also using it for um, a memory type planner or album or whatever um, about me. Um, I already do Project Life for my whole family, so I thought that this one could be all about me, including my daily to-dos and um, family planning. So let me show you inside. Um, I did get this, obviously, the striped one. Um, I just love it. I think it's gorgeous. Um, when you open it inside, I have um, some sticky notes here from Target from the Valentine collection. Um, I have a um, bookmark magnet from one of my other Heidi Swap um, albums. And I just have this clear piece in here from one of the Heidi Swap, um, the little 3x3 three three card um, the overlays. Um, I have my um, Kate Spade bow up here. Um, in here I just keep some random flyers from the schools. And um, I have this from the Daiso store. It's a little booklet of post-its. And the post-its are clear. And um, they're really cool. And I, I like how you can see the pretty paper underneath it. I'll show you. I've used one already. And then, um, and also I have my Heidi Swap um, washi booklet in here. So that's all I carry in there. Move this stuff out of the way. Um, I bought the little um, zip pouch from Heidi Swap, and I use this to keep um, my little stickers in here. Um, I just trimmed cut the sticker sheets in half so they would fit in here but yeah I have just some stickers in here um, I did create a f um, a dashboard a little acrylic dashboard on top here um, this is another Heidi Swap um, um, paper clip bookmark that came with this one and um, I got that one with my gold um, Heidi Swap album. It's a little bit bigger than this one, so I didn't use that as a planner. I use it for something else. And then, um, just I have all my tabs in here, and since I didn't start it until May, um, I just moved all uh, January through April and put it in the back, and I'll just use it for 2016. Um, in here, I haven't done these two yet. I'm waiting um, to do those at the end of the month. So at the end of each month, I will um, add, fill those in. Um, on these ones, I like to add some quotes and just some inspirational pictures that I printed out um, that are um, about my personality. So um, I just have this cool picture here and I added in my Fonto app this little quote that says, Home is wherever I am with you. I found this on um, Google Images and just printed that out because I love taking pictures. Another quote that I found, and this is just a cute little picture I found on Google. Um, I just love the little campers. I just think they're so adorable. So I found that one and um, printed it out because I just loved it. And a lot of people don't know what to do with this um, section here. Um, I've already added some um, things there. 
Um, here, I'm using it for my month um, for my meal planning. So, so far, I've, um, I've got my meals that I have here. I just don't know which day I'm going to put them on yet. But this is one of those clear post-its. They just come right off. And um, I use it for grocery lists or for stuff like this, my meals um, that I want to have this month. So I think these are really cool and they're really thin so they don't bulk up at all in your planner. And you get them at Daiso. Um, here's my month calendar. Um, I just used some of the washi, washi tapes from the booklet. Um, some of my own washi tape here. Um, I have a Heidi Swap arrow that I cut in half and put here and here. This is a little Heidi Swap um, die cut piece that I got from her last collection from Michaels. Um, I added a little paper flower with a little pearl um, like enamel dot kind of thing there. This is also from the die cut set um, from the previous collection. It's a little circle I just stuck there. Um, and these are from also from the previous collection. These little round um, numbers, they are rub-ons and it comes with like, it comes with one through 31 12 times in, in one whole sheet. Um, if you see uh, some Michaels, they have them on clearance now. Some Michaels are totally out. So um, if you do find some, I would grab a couple because they're on clearance for like a dollar or something and they last a whole year. So, um, so yeah, those are just little rub-ons. And this is another Heidi Swap sticker that I had. Um, this is the Heidi Swap little wood block stamp. This is Love This. And then some more washi tape from my, from my stash. This is my first complete week. Um, I started it, like I said, in May. So um, I did with my... Um, what do you call it? My Sizzix machine. I cut out this happy word. It was my daughter's birthday on May 1st. And I just added some of my washi tape for my stash. And this paper here is from uh, a paper collection that I had. I don't remember what it's called. But it was really cute. It had the pastel colors. I added some Heidi Swap um, hearts here. And some um, like silver bling. And then um, some enamel dots. This is some more um, floral washi tape. I just got that at Daiso. There's some more down here. Um, these are some little Polaroid sticker things that I got. And they're super cute. Um, I got these at Joann's. But they also have them at Michael's. And um, yeah. So I just do my to-dos pretty much on this side for most part. And then add some photos here and there. Um, I just added um, a clear word sticker there. Um, a recollections little um, and sign. And then this is from a Heidi Swap sticker. Um, it comes in a little booklet. It came with my gold, um, my gold Heidi Swap album. It's really cute. It comes in a booklet. Like, let me see if I can get it out for you. It's really cute. It's just a booklet of like words and shapes. It's really cute. So anyway, back to my week. Um, in here, I just took some pictures about this week as well. Um, for her birthday, um, she turned 13 and she wanted a hamster. So this is just a little picture of her hamster. He's, he's this was only a second day, um, second day here so he was still in like a little bit he's hiding in there um and she named it nibbles and i just did that on my fonto app um i used um a card here and just did some journaling and added a little tag there and one of the little puffy gold um hearts that came with the zip pouch um did some more journaling here um for May 2nd, um, Princess Charlotte was born, and I just had used some of my British flag washi tape and a little heart sticker from that, um, from this little same gold pack here. I tried to make myself a divider, and I love it, except for, um, when I, since I used this Heidi Swap, 
um, dimensional like wood chip word. It didn't laminate very well and it got really wrinkly as you can tell. But I just love it so much that I still use it. I just think it's so adorable. This is um, my Stampin' Up um, tab punch and I added a heart, Heidi Swap heart sticker on it before I laminated it. But I just love it so much that I still use it, so whatever. Um, on this side, I kind of um, just did some of my chores that I've been doing. Um, some more washi tape, a Heidi Swap clear sticker, some more of these little Polaroid um, um, three-dimensional stickers. They're like kind of like on like foam sticker. Um, these are just my things I have to do. Um, I drew this little washer for so I can do saying I had to do laundry that day. Um, this is just um, supposed to be a YouTube symbol because um, I had to record a video um, and some more to do's. And then my daughter got her hair um, colored um, yesterday. So here's a picture of her with her hair color. Um, this is one of the tiny um, little pieces. I just cut it down a little bit and um, use my tiny attacher to attach it. These are some things I have to do today. Another little YouTube video um, I have to do. And this is that washi tape from um, Daiso that I got yesterday. And since I covered up my date that I did, I just added a recollection sticker here and then um, what do you call it? Stamped my day over here. And this, the ink that I'm using, just in case you're asking, is the Dove Gray by Stays On. And I use that because it's, it's light and it's, you can, you can't even like see it through the other side. It doesn't really bleed through. So I really like using that. And then the rest of the month obviously is not um, complete yet. At the end of each month, I created um, using a piece of cardstock, and I've been using these for years. This is, um, I'll show you a blank one. Um, it is my tracker for every month for our bills, and... Um, I just used the cardstock that fit perfectly. I used this Heidi Swap paper pad, and um, I just printed these and taped them taped them down like with my tape roller my roller tape. And um, these I got from. Let me see. I have it written down. What website? It's called Is Daddy Home Yet? Um, blogspot.com and um, I like I said I've been using these for years but she's got all kinds of different debt tracker and um, different kinds of like financial um, little forms or not forms but printables that you could use and I use this one I've been using this one for a couple of years now and I just love it um, I just fill out, you know, all this stuff and it just works great for me. So, um, so yeah, that's where I got that. I'll try to put a link down below in the description. The rest of the months are all exactly the same. Um, they all have their own, um, debt tracker for me. And then when you get all the way to the back... I have clipped right here. I made my own pen loop and I found this tutorial by Robin Lott and um, I'll link her video below. It's super simple. <coughs> Excuse me. And all you need is a binder clip, some elastic and hot glue gun. That's all you need. It takes just a few minutes. And I made this, and I just love it. It's so cute. And you can use decorative, you know, elastic, or I just chose a solid color. But it works so good. And then my favorite pen right now is the Sharpie pen. It's a really 
a fine point and it is uh, one of the non-bleed um, Sharpies so I just love it because it doesn't bleed through my paper and it works awesome so I use that um, I haven't put anything in my contacts yet because I have it all on my phone but I just left that in there and then this is a Heidi Swap envelope that I've had in my stash um, this I got at I think I got it at Joann's um, it's one of the older collections and um, is a set of like four or five envelopes in a pack all different sizes and this I just use to hold like our uh, medical cards and stuff like that so that is my setup for my Heidi Swap memory planner um, if you have any questions um, let me know um, but yeah I'm really really enjoying this and um, I can't wait to start tomorrow on a fresh new slate and start decorating again. So um, I'll probably do a video every week or at least take pictures and post it on Facebook and Instagram um, of my weekly spread and what it looks like. And then also when I get to the month of June, I will probably... Um, just do an actual video and show um, a flip through of May and then a decoration for the June monthly planner. So um, look forward to that. And like I said, if you have any questions um, or comments, put them below. Um, if you um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And subscribe so um, yeah so I will talk to you guys later more about this um, in June and I'll s see you later bye